Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 games from the Jackbox Party Packs 1 through 8. There are a total of 40 games across the 8 Party Packs, but for this list I will only be choosing one from each series of games, which gives a total of 33 to choose from. I've spent dozens of hours across all of the Party Packs, and have been able to use Zoom to play with friends that are in different time zones with my Switch and a capture device. But, the easier way to play would be to purchase the games on Steam if you want to play remotely, because the screen share function is much easier to manage than connecting to a separate console. And the reason I play using my Switch is because before the pandemic, I had all the party packs, 1 through 6, and playing with friends and family would be a regular occurrence in the same room. But I had to improvise while staying socially distant. I remember playing You Don't Know Jack in the late 90s at a neighbor's house, and having fun with the pop culture references and the naughtiness of the game that was meant for someone older than my age at the time that was about 11 or 12. But now that I am an adult, and thankfully the series evolved beyond just trivia games, because that variety ensures that there's something for everyone to enjoy. Before I get on with the list, let me know in the comments if you think I missed a game in this top 10 list. And with that, let's get to it. Starting off the list at number 10 is Role Models, a silly game from the Jackbox Party Pack 6 where you will be using science to assign personality traits or roles to everybody playing. Think a crowdsourced BuzzFeed quiz. The game is played in rounds that consist of two main parts. The group starts by collectively choosing a theme or category for the round. Then from this choice, everybody needs to assign each player in the group to a character or adjective that appears on your device. You can only assign one person to each. And keep in mind, you will need to make sure that you are also assigning roles in line with what the rest of those playing are choosing, because if you are in the majority, you will gain science pellets. And the more pellets you receive, the more accurate the roles at the end of the game will be. Sometimes the science is inconclusive. Or there are conflicting traits that players need to go head to head, which will earn them more pellets if they can convince others that they deserve them. After a few rounds, everyone is then given their role. Sometimes things get a bit challenging and a heated discussion about your choices might take place. Something like, Why do you think I'm Monica and not Rachel? But, this game is generally one that I will start the night off with, it really gets everyone talking, and at the end of the round you can discuss your roles with each other. Which sometimes is eerily accurate. Number 9 on the list also comes from the Jackbox Party Pack 6, and it's Dictionarium. I admittedly did not like Dictionarium initially, and avoided playing it for a while. But after trying it out because someone else in the group suggested we play it, I discovered its charm and have since found it to be one of my go-tos. In Dictionarium, you are given a non-existent word, and you need to create a definition for that word. The group then chooses the preferred definition. Then the same for a synonym using that definition. And finally, everyone is tasked to write a sentence that includes that newly defined word. Dictionarium does take a bit more brain power than the previous game. But seeing how crafty everyone you are playing with is, is good fun. And who knows, maybe your new word will make it into the real dictionary one day. A brand new game from the Jackbox Party Pack 8 enters the list appropriately at number 8. Job Job is a game where you're trying to sell yourself in a job interview, and you need to Frankenstein together responses to questions throughout the interview process that in the end affects your starting salary. Things start off by each player giving a minimum 5 word response to 3 separate questions on your phone. Type whatever comes to mind. Nobody will know what you're even writing this gibberish for. You effectively want everyone to give a wide variety of words in these responses, because these individual words are what you will use to Frankenstein together your interview responses. The game blends a couple levels of creativity, as you want to provide others words to use in their responses, as each time one is used it will increase your starting salary, and you also want to craft a witty and legible response to your question, so you are the one that everyone chooses, further raising that salary. Unlike real life, whoever has the highest score, or starting salary in this case, is the winner, and gets hired. Each time I've played Job Job since its release in the Jackbox Party Pack 8, I've enjoyed it even more, which is why it sits at number 8 on this list. Number 7 comes to us from Jackbox Party Pack 7, and it's Blather Round. Blather Round is a wordplay game that you need to figure out the place, person, thing, or story that the presenter is trying to describe through sentences that appear on the screen. Players have two minutes to guess what they are trying to describe, and those guesses can potentially be used by the presenter in follow-up questions. This may be a bit confusing, and normally it takes the first round for everyone to fully grasp what's going on, but once that aha moment has been had, I don't think anyone I have introduced Blather Round to has not enjoyed their time playing. 
One thing I will note though, and it took me a few games to realize, as the presenter, you can choose multiple words on the left hand side of your screen to build your sentence, which can really help. Now on to number 6, which is from the Jackbox Party Pack 6, and it's Push the Button. In a similar vein as Among Us, Push the Button has your group trying to determine the aliens amongst the humans, and this is done by competing in different minigames to suss out the aliens. Aliens will get slightly different prompts than the humans in these minigames, and they will need to defend their answers when they're pressured. If you're an alien and a poor liar, Push the Button might be a challenge for you. This game can get pretty tough if everyone who is playing knows what they're doing, as there are limited hacks available to the aliens that are used to trick humans in these minigames. It sends the human alien prompts and vice versa. When someone believes they have determined who all the aliens are, they can push the button and try to convince everyone who they believe the aliens are and eject them from the ship. If there's not a consensus on these aliens, everyone goes back to playing the minigames until someone else pushes the button. If all the aliens are not ejected, the aliens win. But if all the aliens are ejected, then the humans win. There is a time limit to the game, so make sure you don't deliberate too much or the aliens might just win by default. Number 5 comes from Jackbox Party Pack 4, Fibbage 3. The first game on this list is a sequel from earlier party packs, and like most games here, is best played with as close to the maximum number of players possible. The host Schmitty will read out a question, and it's up to those playing to answer in a convincing way that will trick others into choosing your fib, while you also try to choose the correct answer. The game is pretty straightforward and simple, with things having the potential to get pretty funny. And if you would like a more personal experience, there's also the option for Fibbage Enough About You, where each of the players provide an answer to a question about themselves. I still think the main game is the standout, but having the custom game option is a great inclusion for Fibbage 3. An easy choice for number 5. Just hoping for Fibbage 4 soon, because some of the questions are a bit dated, and having played it a fair number of times, there's definitely been some repeat questions. Another sequel game that is just released in the recent Jackbox Party Pack 8 comes in at number 4 with Drawful Animate. Although it's not a numbered sequel, Drawful Animate builds upon the great Drawful from the first Jackbox Party Pack and the standalone Drawful 2. In Drawful, you will be given something to draw. It can be very specific or vague, but it is up to you to draw it so that everyone playing can kind of get what you're going for, and similar to Fibbage, they will write what they think the drawing is of and everyone guesses what they think the correct answer is. You get points for convincing others your answer is what was drawn, and for selecting the correct answer yourself. The one drawing also gets points if players answer correctly. Drawful Animate turns things up, and gives you a second frame to draw, and an additional color for a total of three. I like that it has a shadow of the first drawing, so you can attempt to trace it. Then when others are guessing, you can increase or decrease the speed of the animation. This does come in handy. One thing I do find Drawful accomplishes is that you don't have to be an artist to succeed at the game. You only draw once, and although some of the phrases you are required to draw are sometimes, let's say, out of the box, as long as you can identify what others have drawn, you can still win. There are additional custom game modes where you can play preloaded games like the list here on screen, or you can build your own custom episode. The game is great, and the additional game options provide even more value worthy of its spot on this list. Time for the top three, and in that number three spot, we have Gespionage. All the way from the Jackbox Party Pack 3, which is the oldest entry on this list, Gespionage is a super simple game where one person is given a question, like this one here on screen, and you need to guess the percentage that is asked in the question as accurate as you can, which will net you more points. When they have given their percentage, other players will need to guess whether the correct answer is higher or lower. Depending on the number of players, either in round 1 or round 2, you will be able to double down on whether you think the correct answer is higher or lower than 15% or more of the current guess. So say the correct answer is over, but under 15% off, and you guessed much higher, that means you get 0 points. The final round also asks you to choose the 3 highest percentage answers in a multiple choice, which can turn the tide in an instant. A classic game that I think is destined for a sequel in an upcoming Jackbox Party Pack. In second place, the fourth game on this list that's from the Jackbox Party Pack 6, Trivia Murder Party 2. Trivia Murder Party 2, much like the first Trivia Murder Party, has the group in a hotel answering a different question for each floor. Get it right and you are safe, but get it wrong and you are thrust onto the killing floor for a minigame that might kill you. The minigames are pretty varied. Most are luck-based, but some are skill-based. 
Once there is only one player left living, you will go to the final round, where it is a race to escape. Each of the multi-answer questions that you get correct moves you one space closer to the exit, and once you are two spaces away, you will need to get all three answers correct to escape. The variety in Trivia Murder Party 2 is probably the best thing about it. The questions are all over the place, minigames are varied, although with subsequent playthroughs you will be repeating some of them, and there is also no guarantee of a winner. If the darkness catches everyone in the final round, nobody wins, and there was actually one time that I played the host just decided to end the game without us going to the final round. Everyone died, and he just didn't revive someone and the game ended. It was a shock, but also funny. And in this game that I caught the footage for, in one of the mini-games, Game Peach retrieved the host's mother's wig that after winning the game, prompted a final question. It was a nice little easter egg. The host's commentary also adds to the enjoyment of Trivia Murder Party 2. And with all of these things together, no surprise that it lands as the number 2 game on this list. Topping the list should come as no surprise to those who have seen the prior Jackbox content on my channel, with Quiplash 3 topping the list at number 1. Quiplash is another easy to pick up and play game that can result in very funny moments with the group of people you are playing with. In Quiplash, you are given two prompts in the first two rounds, and you need to fill them out with responses that can range from practical, witty, or stupid. Then your response will go head to head with someone else in the group, and everyone else votes on which one they liked most. Very key to know your audience in this one. Like nearly all other games on this list, you can have an audience that can actually sway the game. Up to 10,000 people can join the audience, which is crazy. But it's a good option to engage a large group of people, or if you're hosting a stream or even a work event. The third round in Quiplash 3 is the Last Lash, and it's done with Thriplash prompts. You will be asked a question that requires three answers, and again go head to head with someone else. Which is different from the other versions of Quiplash, where everyone gets the same prompt. I'm split on which method I prefer. Finally, you can also create a full custom game of Quiplash 3 and share the code online for others to play if you would like. Being able to have a full theme from start to finish for your custom game is an improvement in Quiplash 3 from Quiplash 2, and you can check out how easy it is to make one in my custom Quiplash games video that can be found in the eye. And there is my list of the top 10 Jackbox games from Party Packs 1 through 8. Do you agree with the list? I think there may be some flexibility with 8, 9, and 10, but I'm pretty confident that the top 7 all deserve to be on this list. Let me know your thoughts, and if I totally overlooked your favourite in the comments below. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you're still hanging around, do me a favour, like the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in my next video.